The uh, Milton District Hospital Foundation connects with the community as often as we possibly can with the mandate to raise funds for the expansion of this hospital, which is sorely needed. This hospital is a community hospital, and so it's, it, it has a value system that goes back to, I, I guess, the 70s, late 60s, where the community set out brick by brick to fund and build a community hospital. The community at that time was approximately, let's say, 25,000 people. It's now in excess of 100,000 people, and the ability to serve that community um, is significantly challenged. Hence, the applications to expand to ultimately triple or quadruple the size of the hospital and meet the medical demands of the community. And why is community support so necessary for the hospitals? Don't they get money from the government to, to do this? The government builds approximately 90% of the bricks and mortar. And the foundation's purpose is to provide on an ongoing basis essential equipment for the medical staff, for the diagnostic staff, for the uh, uh, diagnostic imaging staff, uh, the uh, uh, emergency department. So every one of these things, as you expand your medical capabilities, it, it, it comes with new equipment that has never been in this hospital. And so people just don't come in with one malady, they come in with hundreds of maladies and it requires dozens of expertise and dozens of types of equipment. So the foundation looks after that equipment component. Okay, and what are some of the ways that people in the community can contribute to the foundation? Well, we have fundraisers, we have galas, we have breakfast with Santa, we have golf tournaments, we have motorcycle tournaments and races and so forth, not races, but uh, cross-country uh, events. All of those contribute um, with some frequency. Then the wonderful thing is that, that there are what we call third-party events where out of the blue um, someone decides to uh, sell hot dogs on a weekend and, and uh, donate whatever the, the, the proceeds are to the hospital. And some of those events donate tens of thousands of dollars, believe it or not. So in sequence we have our own fundraisers, then we have um, events and third party uh, events to raise funds, and then we can go on um, a rant for a specific piece of equipment as we did in the past, which was for a CT scanner. Okay. The community rallies around that because they realize that to come to a hospital and be diagnosed correctly is critical. You're not sent somewhere else to, to have a, uh, an experience with a piece of equipment that doesn't exist here. And it helps with that good equipment attract top-notch medical staff because they will not come to uh, a facility without the assurance that diagnostic uh, equipment is in place and uh, will satisfy their ability to proceed with whatever interventions medically they require. There is a, a particular, and it's difficult to talk about, but the aging population that you, you mentioned, these people um, often have established estates of some consequence, and it, that can be shared in their wills and testaments and insurance policies. It's just not a matter of, of uh, giving money. It can be insurance policies, it can be houses, it can be, and, and, and I'm not saying that you take away from family, but sometimes the estates are of, of such consequence that too few, too seldom do lawyers say, are there charities that you'd like to donate to? And certainly when I look at uh, notices in the paper, with some frequency you see charitable donations may be made to the Milton District Hospital Foundation. And so that's a whole avenue that opens up to not only funding, but potentially some significant funding. And then as a corollary to that, I, I guess, what's near and dear to the heart of a community? Well, I think education and the well-being of the community, the safety of a community. But I can't think of one more critical than its hospital. 
where, and I coached uh, competitive soccer for 15 years, and I brought lots of busted and broken little boys and young men to this hospital for care. And so at the heart of this community, and especially now that we're expanding, is this hospital. It will become significantly in this campaign the heart and soul of this community because there is a great deal of money that has to be raised.